there, Earth Signs. I hope you are doing great. This is going to be your group reading. For anyone who hasn't joined me for a group reading, please understand that not all messages will resonate and that is okay. If you're watching me on YouTube, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so I can continue to do readings for all of you. And if you're looking for a personal reading, please don't forget to check me out on my website, kellyfergusonreadings.com. And now is a great time to get a reading because I have my Peaceful Days discount on right now. So you can get a personal reading at a discounted price. So, Earth Signs, thought I would do something a little bit different because all of us are really kind of stuck at home, can't really go anywhere or do anything, and it leaves us with more than likely a little bit more time on our hands that we are used to, right? So, what better time to ask the question, what do we need to learn? Because we have the time to go within now and figure out what it is that we need to learn, move towards, etc. So now is the time. Let's start asking the questions. What do our earth signs need to learn in love, in life, and in our jobs? Let's see, let's start with love. Everyone always wants to start with love, right? Okay, earth signs, and I'm using the earth magic cards. They are my favorite deck. Well, one of them, I have a lot of favorite decks. For earth signs, what do we need to learn about love here? Okay, so earth signs, I think you're in a bit of a cycle, okay? Now, we might have a karmic cycle going on here, and I want you guys to be able to get out of it. In the past, with regards to love, we got tsunami and wake-up call. So did you recently, and it's funny that this came up for the water signs as well, so I'm not sure if you're in a situation with a water sign, um, but tsunami and wake-up call. This talks about sudden and, sudden and dramatic changes maybe coming into your life. So this is in the near past, okay? So what have you experienced already, earth signs, that is not making you happy in the love department? You might be feeling overwhelmed you might feel emotionally reeling you might feel like you might even have ended a relationship because we have the full moon here representing the end of one cycle the beginning of another you might have had a nasty breakup not sure okay but either way there's some heavy stuff in your love past here now where are you at right now mountain and strength so there is either you moving forward and away from a relationship that was either emotionally unstable or not good for you or overwhelming and now you're finding your own stability again you're coming back to yourself finding your new foundations etc okay this is lovely i love the progress but either earth signs you are slipping back and moving back with a person that wasn't good for you or you are starting a new cycle because i've got lightning and power you're moving back into rough waters again okay so if you have moved on to another situation or another person or revisiting you have to ask yourself is this a pattern i need to go into is this working for me Okay, this may not resonate for everybody, but earth signs, if this resonates for you, this is for you, okay? Ask yourself, water and fire, do they mix? Not all the time, okay? But this is definitely talking about high emotional voltage going on here, okay? There is something going on in your love life that you are either butting heads with someone or you are possibly codependent on an emotional relationship, okay? It might be time to take a look and see are these patterns healthy for you because I think you can make an improvement there. Are you learning from your patterns mm, okay sorry your signs but I won't lie okay holy smokes now is this for us in our life no that's too many actually it's too many if they're meant to come out they're gonna come out again that is for sure earth signs what do we need to know with regards to life what do we need to learn what do we need to learn now that we have time to go in and have some solitude and be with ourselves what do we need to learn about life earth signs here this one oh wow I'm having a lot of repeating cards coming up today okay there's definitely some cycles going on in your life okay in the past with regards to life okay fire passion were you going after what it is that you love and you were feeling positive and everything was wonderful about this okay and it might have been that you landed um you landed a good position in terms of feeling balanced in your work and your life and now you feel like you have the time to be able to do what you want to do and feel like you have some freedom and to be able to connect with earth and nature this is always a card it's so funny that you guys are earth signs because to me this is a card that says that 
that you're a very earthy person, very connected to Mother Earth, the plants, the trees, all that kind of beautiful stuff. So you are very much feeling it right now, meaning it's time for me to make a change. It's time for me to get outdoors. I'm being tired of being stuck, cooped in inside, and not just because of the current COVID-19 situation, but just the nature of you. You're ready to go outside and breathe fresh air again, and also bring this magic back into our lives. Because when we are, you know, going through that winter hibernation type stuff, we really, we really feel kind of stale in some sort of ways. And springtime is the perfect time for us to start rejuvenating. So you really are feeling that call to do that. But I think there's, like I said, there's some patterns coming up for you guys as well. Volcano and volatility, okay? So I'm not exactly sure what this is in your current situation. There could be either, um, you know, frustrations coming up to a head right now because you're not sure about the current state of you, your life and where you're at with, you know, in amidst all of the COVID-19 and with, you know, what our country's decisions are to have these services, etc. It leaves you kind of emotionally reeling in some ways as well here okay but what this is also going to be giving you advice on in terms of life right now is not let's just say exploding okay I think there's a lot of ups and downs going on right now and none of us really knows exactly what that looks like but if there's things that are going to make us uncomfortable we can either know and expect that some of these things are going to happen and therefore we're prepared and we have a good mental state and a good emotional state we'll be all right but this kind of talks about flying off the handle or sometimes not addressing the elephant in the room and as a result you kind of end up taking a bigger impact to a dramatic situation than you you would have needed to do okay so keep everything in perspective here don't jump to conclusions don't follow fear-based energy friends it's only going to give you worry and worry never got you anything right no okay let's talk about some career stuff for you guys earth signs earth signs what do we need to learn about our career now that we're slowing things down what do we need to learn about our career earth signs here okay yeah, so some of your earth signs are defi definitely wanting to break away from your existing career and move towards doing something different altogether. I've got wolf and instinct. So you're already feeling like you either don't belong in your existing environment or you're not being supported in your existing environment. Now, some of you as well might be working, working remotely from home, which is the case for so many people. So you feel disconnected from them as well. So you kind of have to use your intuition and your instincts to kind of feel what's going on, okay? Now, full moon and completion. This might have just been the break that you need to get away from that environment or to bring in some new change and a breath of fresh air that you needed to really try to focus and see, am I where I want to be? Do I need to close the door now that, you know, either work is slowing down or there's a change of pace or whatever? Is this now giving me the time to say, hmm, maybe I should close this door and move forward to something else? But friends, it's not time to jump, okay? It is not time to make rash decisions. Stone people in vigilance. This is telling me that you have been watching the situation slowly over time, okay? You are waiting for the right time to make your move. This is beautiful. Now, whether or not you actually know what those moves are going to be or whether or not you just know and you're looking out and testing the waters I mean see the ripples in that water oh yeah okay so you are definitely moving forward with some either new plans or new ripples that you want to make for yourself but don't jump just yet okay I feel like we need to collect information before we make the decision and that's what stone people is all about there's so much wisdom in the stone people the vibration of being connected to the earth wisdom knowledge discernment so don't jump don't make this a leap of faith type of a change for you earth signs this is about using your wisdom knowledge and discernment to collect the right information and make an informed decision before you jump okay but it's all here for you guys there's some cool stuff coming so i'm just gonna pull one more card for you guys from my angels and ancestors deck just to, ooh, okay and there it is what is it wow druid hold the space okay and didn't i just finish saying don't jump wisdom knowledge discernment it's time to slow things down and really kind of come back to yourself not only holding space for yourself and giving yourself the time to figure out what it is that i want to do and build your plan and move forward but this is also talking about being calm in the meantime like i said worry never got us anything friends so be calm allow yourself to be calm in this break period and then things were going to come clear for you I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you enjoyed it, please give me a like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to join me next time for your next reading. Thank you, Earth Signs.